Carcinoid syndrome refers to the array of symptoms that occur secondary to carcinoid tumors. The syndrome includes flushing and diarrhea, and, less frequently, heart failure and bronchoconstriction. It is caused by endogenous secretion of mainly serotonin and colicrin. Clinical presentation The carcinoid syndrome occurs in approximately 5% of carcinoid tumors and becomes manifest when vasoactive substances from the tumors enter the systemic circulation escaping hepatic degradation. Interestingly, if the primary tumor is from the GI tract, carcinoid syndrome generally does not occur until the disease is so advanced that it overwhelms the liver's ability to metabolize the released serotonin. Flushing the most important clinical finding is flushing of the skin, usually of the head and the upper part of thorax. Secretory diarrhea and abdominal cramps are also characteristic features of the syndrome. Diarrhea, when the diarrhea is intensive it may lead to electrolyte disturbance and dehydration. Other associated symptoms are nausea, and vomiting. Bronchoconstriction, which may be histamine-induced, affects a smaller number of patients and often accompanies flushing. Secondary restrictive cardiomyopathy, about 50% of patients have cardiac abnormalities classically of the restrictive type caused by serotonin-induced fibrosis of the valvular endocardium, notably the tricuspid and pulmonary valves, called cardiac fibrosis. This results in a heart with normal rhythm and contractility, but reduced preload and end diastolic volume. TIPS is an acronym for tricuspid insufficiency, pulmonary stenosis. Abdominal pain, due to desmoplastic reaction of the mesentery or hepatic metastases. Pathophysiology, carcinoid tumors produce the vasoactive substance, serotonin. It is commonly, but incorrectly, thought that serotonin is the cause of the flushing. The flushing results from secretion of colicrin the enzyme that catalyzes the conversion of kininogen to lysobradikinin. The latter is further converted to bradykinin, one of the most powerful vasodilators known. Other components of the carcinoid syndrome are diarrhea, a pellagrin-like syndrome, fibrotic lesions of the endocardium, particularly on the right side of the heart resulting in insufficiency of the tricuspid valve and, less frequently, the pulmonary valve and, uncommonly, bronchoconstriction. The pathogenesis of the cardiac lesions and the bronchoconstriction is unknown, but the former probably involves activation of serotonin 5-HT2B receptors by serotonin. When the primary tumor is in the gastrointestinal tract, as it is in the great majority of cases, the serotonin and colicrin are inactivated in the liver. Manifestations of carcinoid syndrome do not occur until there are metastases to the liver or when the cancer is accompanied by liver failure. Carcinoid tumors arising in the bronchi may be associated with manifestations of carcinoid syndrome without liver metastases because their biologically active products reach the systemic circulation before passing through the liver and being metabolized. In most patients, there is an increased urinary excretion of 5-HIAA, a degradation product of serotonin. The biology of these tumors is interesting as it differs from many other tumor types. Ongoing research on the biology of these tumors may reveal new mechanisms for tumor development. Diagnosis With a certain degree of clinical suspicion, the most useful initial test is the 24-hour urine levels of 5-HIAA, the end product of serotonin metabolism. Patients with carcinoid syndrome usually excrete more than 25 mg of 5-HIAA per day. For localization of both primary lesions and metastasis, the initial imaging method is Octria scan, where indium-111 labeled somatostatin analogs are used in scintigraphy for detecting tumors expressing somatostatin receptors. Median detection rates with Octria scan are about 89%, in contrast to other imaging techniques such as CT scan and MRI with detection rates of about 80%. Gallium-68 labeled somatostatin analogs such as 68 gar dota octreotate performed on a PET-CT scanner is superior to conventional octreoscan. Usually on CT scan, a spider-like crab-like change is visible in the mesentery due to the fibrosis from the release of serotonin. 18 FFDG PET CT, which evaluate for increased metabolism of glucose, may also aid in localizing the carcinoid lesion or evaluating for metastases. 
chromogranin A and platelet serotonin are increased. Localization of tumor Tumor localization may be extremely difficult. Barium swallow and follow up examination of the intestine may occasionally show the tumor. Capsule video endoscopy has recently been used to localize the tumor. Often laparotomy is the definitive way to localize the tumor. Treatment For symptomatic relief of carcinoid syndrome, octreotide, peptide receptor radionuclide therapy with lutetium 177, yttrium 90, or indium 111 labeled to octreotate is highly effective. Methicigid malate, ciproheptadine, alternative treatment for qualifying candidates, surgical resection of tumor and chemotherapy, endovascular, chemoembolization, targeted chemotherapy directly delivered to the liver through special catheters mixed with embolic beads. For patients with liver metastases, uncertainties, all aspects of this disease have significant uncertainties. Patients frequently face disagreeing doctors and have to choose which doctor's advice to follow, thereby effectively deciding their own treatment course. Disease progression is difficult to ascertain because the disease can metastasize anywhere in the body, can be too small to identify with any current technology, and surprises can await the surgeon in the operating room. The markers, such as chromogranina, are generally poor signifiers. Therefore, the patient and doctor must make decisions with few facts and few ways to test the results of those decisions. Prognosis Prognosis varies from individual to individual. It ranges from a 95% five-year survival for localized disease to an 80% five-year survival for those with liver metastases. The average survival time from the start of octreotide treatment has increased to about 12 years. Synonyms, thorsen biork syndrome. Argentafenoma syndrome, Cassidy Skoltz syndrome, Flush syndrome, see also, carcinoid, neuroendocrine tumor, Kulchitsky cells, epidoma, serotonin syndrome, references.